Hi everyone, my name is Simon Snowder, and this is the monthly recap for November. So what were the highlights? Well, if you were paying attention to the news, you must have heard FTX and BSF and the big collapse of uh, one of the largest crypto exchange in the world. So this is quite a story. It started all with uh, a liquidity problem where uh, FTX tried to uh, uh, facilitate withdrawals from, uh, from clients after there was uh, a lot of negative publicity around them. And then suddenly that was not possible. And then another big exchange, Binance, came in and tried to see if they could provide liquidity but they, uh, they said that they will not participate in an, uh, in an acquisition. And then soon after that, there was a bankruptcy. Now I've looked at the balance sheet, not personally, but I've seen the highlights of the balance sheet and I've seen some more insights uh, about this company. And I can say that uh, there's a lot of things wrong. Uh, and this is going to be uh, probably one of the largest uh, defaults that we have ever experienced. Uh, one of the things that I have seen is that uh, they have uh, misused customers' uh, funds. Uh, another thing is that uh, they have uh, hold collateral, which is not really collateral. So on the balance sheet, they say that uh, they have XYZ assets, but in the reality, they were not worth like 5 billion. They were worth more like, I don't know, less than uh, 100 million. So you cannot do all these things um, and uh, think that you can get away with that. Uh, so there's uh, so much more that I can talk about about this FTX collapse. But for you, it is uh, important to know that this is, this is not just a collapse. This is probably one of the largest corporate collapses in history. And that's why I want to highlight this to you. On the midterm elections in the US, we see that this is finally uh, almost concluded. So uh, the, the Congress will go to the Democrats and the House will go to the Republicans. And uh, the Congress is, uh, is, is going to help Biden to, because he's also a Democrat, to, to help him when he appoints new judges and uh, when he wants to put things in law. But because the, the House is not in the hands of the Democrats, there will be definitely in the coming period some, uh, you know, some fighting back and forward. So how will the markets respond to that? We need to see. Uh, I saw this very interesting research, which I want to share with you. It said that 75% of people between 21 and 42 of high net worth individuals, uh, they don't really believe that uh, stocks and bonds will give above average returns the coming years and that 80% uh, of those young networks people with a lot of money that are between 21 and 42 they want to invest in alternative assets or maybe they should talk with me because this is uh, totally my field um, I thought this was so interesting because um, it just shows a trend difference in how people are investing and what direction this uh, this might lead to and uh, my own content is, uh, is going to be a little bit different uh, in, uh, in December. I don't have much to look forward to because uh, I'm traveling uh, most of December. One of the places where I will be uh, is, is Antarctica. So I cannot do a webinar. I cannot do uh, a podcast. Uh, I will save that for next year. Uh, but what I, what I can say is that uh, next year will be very, very exciting. So uh, I will share with you more information on that on the yearly recap, which will come out in December. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Goodbye.